I did a video a while back about looking at uh, voltage rail um, fluctuations or bouncing or variations, whatever you want to call it. And there was two methods I show, act three methods really, but one was the DC offset method and one was an AC coupling method. And I said that the AC coupling method didn't give good results and people were very confused why that, why that wouldn't work. So I thought I'd demo that today so you could see why having a DC offset probe or having an oscilloscope that can provide the DC offset um, does a different job than just AC coupling things. So, so let's show you the circuit here. It's just going to be a, uh, an N-channel FET and a 50 ohm resistor. So I'm pulsing the 50 ohm resistor with a signal, okay? And this is going to be, this is going to be my signal here. It's just a 20% uh, pulse rate uh, square wave. So 20% to do cycle. So we're just going to whack this on and off, and that will cause some voltage drops having that 50 ohm load, right? It's pretty he heavy duty load. And uh, so let's take a look at the voltage rail, okay? So now we'll come up here and let me readjust the uh, scope here so we can see it better. Okay. So we're here at five volts. You can say, hey, everything looks just fine, right? So you can say, okay, well, what we normally do is we come here, we do AC coupling. Okay, so um, we can adjust. So this is, if I hit the... Uh, voltage reference here it puts it at zero, zero so we can we can see that we have some offset uh, in our VCC right so we've done an AC coupling so now we see that when we're when we've turned it on it can it droop down minus 20 200 I mean ah, minus 20 millivolts and when we let go of it it can come up here to almost plus seven uh, millivolts so that's what we're getting here okay and uh, we can try to trigger on that better. Where's my trigger? Trigger's way up there somewhere. Okay, let's uh, stick it here so it triggers correctly. Okay, so let's try to remember this thing. Uh, we'll turn on one of the reference channels and we'll save that. So now we have a reference channel. Um, so we've saved that waveform down here. Let's put them side by side. I think that would look better. Uh, let's tile them horizontally. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have uh, this thing's been saved over here. All right, so let's go back to our main uh, our main uh, image here. And let me go to DC with an offset. So I'm going to do DC coupling. I'm going to do a, a five volt offset uh, so we can get near near where we want to be. It's up a little high, so let's bring it down. All right. So uh, there's about the same picture, okay? Let me stop this one. Um, so you can see that in this picture, we have these droopy lines, and over here we have these nice square steps, okay? So why is that? Well, this droopiness here is the AC capacitor. When we switch in AC coupling, we get a droop in the voltage. It's, it wants to have, over time, it wants to have everything go to, uh, uh, go to ground, right? And so this one is drooping down and then, and then it starts over. And it droops. So all of these curves here are due to that capacitor for AC coupling. But if we do a DC probe with a DC offset, we retain any DC voltages and we don't have that AC component in there from that capacitor. So that's why you would want to do DC coupling with offset instead of AC coupling, all right? They're both at the same uh, volts per division. This is 10 millivolts per division. This is 10 millivolts per division. The uh, line here in the center is zero volts because we've done the, DC, the uh, AC coupling, right? And over here, the center line is at 5.5049 volts. Now that's another reason that you might want to do AC coupling and DC coupling. You can actually read volts off of here. Over here, you know what the plus and minus deviation is, but because you've AC coupled it, you've lost the information of where is your reference. Whereas over here, you can read directly what's that voltage, what's that voltage, right? Uh, you could turn you could turn a you could turn a marker on and. Uh, uh, come over here and say, you know, what volt, what voltage is and everything, right? So anyway, um, I hope that helps. Um, sometimes 
you know, for fast signals and quick measurements and stuff, AC coupling is just fine to look at the noise on your power supply and stuff. Yeah, AC coupling is just fine. But if you want to know uh, what's really happening in the DC domain or an absolute voltage domain, then uh, a DC coupling with offset is the way to go. And again, the way that you get there is you go into your scope and you either select DC coupling or AC coupling, and then uh, uh, you can turn you can turn your knob, which is which is your offset, or you can just type it in here um, and get you closer, get you there faster if you have a digital scope. All right, well, there you go. Uh, AC versus DC coupling.